Hello Sagittarius, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading. So for the rest of the week here, I'm going to do the Celtic Cross spread and ask what is important for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus to know this week. What does Sagittarius need to know, please? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more. Wow, judgment. Have you guys gotten judgment a lot, I believe, lately? Judgment and Six of Swords is like there is something that is coming here towards you. It may be a call. It may be an epiphany that helps you move forward. It may be just an epiphany regarding your mind and the Six of Pentacles. It feels rewarding. It feels like a give and take. We will see. Wow. The Ace of Swords and the King of Swords. The Hanging Man. The Six of Cups came at least for the, I believe, Scorpio, Libra. Was it Virgo too? I don't remember now. Cancer had it as well. Six of Wands has been also good for you lately, guys. Okay. If I... Uh, I'm hoping here I'm not confusing you with another sign, but I, I keep getting the Emperor and the Six of Wands. I believe the world last, last time for you as well. Okay, so what are you dealing with? To me, the Ace of Swords is coming as very much a clear sign of a new beginning, especially because this is what you have been, I should say with the subconscious or the root of this, what you have been waiting for. The Ace of Swords is clear. What is here that I've been wanting to know? Communication. I feel like it has it is associated with this King of Swords that is holding that. I want to see when we clarify, but in this particular deck, I always feel like it's coming with peace. I feel like it's coming with clarity, uh, cutting through any type of uh, foggy situation, anything that you have been waiting and hanging and trying to look at different perspective. This King of Swords is trying to stay very much, um, I feel cool and collected. I've made this decision. Now is the beginning. Now I need to act. I don't know if you're facing this King of Swords, but because the Emperor is the outcome, I feel like the King of Swords is the Emperor's energy. I have to make a decision. It is now or never. I have to open up. I have to be clear. I've been hanging. I, mean, I feel like I've looked at it at a different perspective. And when I feel like I feel like I'm talking, you know, kind of in your situation here, guys. It's just time to uh, to act, I feel like. Time to say something. It is associated with a person that you have known or a past situation. I, I want to clarify the Six of Cups if it, if it is regarding a soulmate or if it is regarding something from the past. But you are getting clarity because look at the way you are going to think things possible. The sun, two major arcanas, by the way. Bright, light, energy, vitality, especially is in association with this Jupiter in Leo here that you have in how you see yourself, in how you're going to act. The sun as what you're thinking and the six of wands together as how you're going to act is very, very powerful. This is, to me, someone that is standing above everybody else, looking at a situation as, hey, I did it. You may be feeling that now, finally, you are successful. I don't know, again, at this moment, if it's just about a soulmate connection, but for sure, it is regarding your success. You're looking good, Sagittarius. You're looking like you finally accomplished what you wanted, especially because this Ten of Wands is coming towards you, the immediate situation that finally, the last step, the final step, and I did it. So it's to me, this, this Ten of Wands is like, finally things are coming here towards me. I feel very much that I deserve this, recognition, rewards, um, to me it's like the most when I when it comes to this the sun and the six of wands both cards are about someone that is standing here with um, a trophy is being looked as I, this person did it they're very successful they're very rewarding we will see how it clarifies again but you you completed a step here when it comes to a goal 
with the Ten of Wands. Now, be aware that external to you, the Page of Cups is someone that wants to express feelings towards you, uh, Sagittarius. I, I'm, I'm getting um, someone that is ready to open up tell you maybe how they feel wanting to say something just the beginning here um, of the emotions you're hoping for partnership though with the three of pentacles whatever you have to build there you're hoping that something finally is going to come okay this is to me that mars in capricorn or the three of pentacles here is i always see this as um this is what i've gathered this is what i have to work with this is what i have to build with how can we make this work together? Remember, the Ace of Swords and the King of Swords is very much this executive type of decision here. If I look at these three together, okay, I can work with this. I know what I need to build. Are we going to start now to manifest this? What do we w need to work? That's what you're hoping for. You want collaboration. You want a partnership. You, you want to work something that has a potential, again, with the Emperor here to be like, I'm standing here when it comes to my domain, when it comes here to my foundation. It's like you're building something very, very powerful. It can be a connection. It can be when it comes to your status, to your image. You Like to me, the sun is what you think possible and the emperor is coming here as what is the possible outcome. You might thinking as this vitality and happiness and uh, being open here, but he's saying there's still with the emperor, we're talking about a structure. We're talking about responsibility. We're talking about building, you know, when it comes here, a relationship or when it comes to, uh, for some of you, again, as I mentioned, your own image. But for the ones that have been following the, the readings, you guys have been getting kind of the same type of reading. It comes as very powerful, as very much you need to build something up. You need to be rewarded. Someone needs to see you, you know, for the hard work that you have done here. And that's, I will say that your hard work is paying off, but it's because of this Ace of Swords that finally, you know, the clarity, the moment here that you have been waiting for is coming and it's with some type of decision. All right, so we're going to clarify and see. So let's see, what is the Ace of Swords, please? What is the Ace of Swords? One more. Oh, wow, the devil. It's cutting through that unhealthy situation. Any type of codependencies, anything here that you feel trapped, this is good. To me, I'm getting this Ace of Swords give you freedom of any attachment, of any codependencies, on anything that you have not been able to get away from. It can be Capricorn energy, but I'm getting... Um, it's cutting through all of those. Let's see. I want to see what the King of Swords is. Tell me about the King of Swords, please. What is the... Okay, what is this? The King of Swords has been someone that has been very silent watching waiting and now it's coming with i have to make a decision i cannot stay in this unhealthy situation anymore tell me about the king of swords please one more okay communication guys there's there's this spontaneous energy that is coming in if if you are the king of swords you have been holding back because again with the hanging man as i mentioned there's uh, always the waiting self-sacrificing trying to be understandable but it's come to the the point that it, it became unhealthy and obsessive so the king of swords feels like i don't want to stay like that anymore this to me is the most you know free enthusiastic type of page you do have the page of cups external but it's mostly impulsive a little bit you know i i'm going to go here i'm going to open up i've been thinking about this it's pointless for me to feel trapped or obsessed over the situation i want to cut through it i want to be clear that's what's coming towards you guys now it may be your person that you're dealing with and you're going to make a decision where you stand with this person that decision is to be clear where you are, what you want to say, not holding back, not being fearful. Tell me about the hanging man. Tell me about the hanging man, please. One more. Wow. 
Wow, you have been waiting for that. Look at this. There's a lot of wealth, family here, marriage, having it all. You have been looking at this successful outcome. I don't know for you, Sagittarius, if it's important to have a certain status or to win someone over. Uh, because I keep getting the Six of Wands and the, the Ten of Pentacles and Four of Wands is the engagement, the beginning here of a relationship or of a commitment, but that deals with a lot of... Uh, longevity prosperity money tradition it's like starting with the four here or with this you know engagement and going towards something bigger but for that you have been looking at what it is here that you have um to win what it is here that you have to be successful you have been i feel like looking at it from every angle waiting for your moment here to be successful Let's get one more. What is this hanging man here, please? One more. The Hierophant. Marriage is very much in your mind. Marriage commitment. Um, you have had a certain belief that you will get here this success. That you are going to be victorious very spiritual also uh, i feel like in the process you have learned something here but i keep getting that there's something about commitment and marriage that is associated with you as well and this accomplishment all right so let's see what is the six of cups You want to do things the traditional way as well. What is society expecting of you? Um, how you want to be seen in that way? I'm, I'm getting with the Hierophant. What is the Six of Cups in the past? One more. Wow, this is so beautiful. A soulmate that, you know, had this kind of towards you bliss, content, fairy tale. You have happy memories, you have fond memories, or you had someone in the past or recent past that, um, you know, created that bliss for you, that contentment. What is this Six of Cups with the Ten of Cups? Scorpio and Pisces there. You're getting these two tens, and these are beautiful, and then you have the third ten here that is, is saying finally. One more. The Knight of Cups, this is too beautiful. <laughs> the Six of Cups, the Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups, romantic love here. We're talking about, you know, someone proposing. It may be very much fantasy-wise going on here. Or someone, you and this person thought that we could be together. I felt like we were soulmates. I feel like right now you, you're trying to be clear where you stand and you feel like your image and your status here are very important. You look like you have to achieve something. What is the sun? Please tell me about the sun. Okay, I'm going to look at this because well, the seven of wands. It's interesting. Very, very Leo energy for some of you. But the six of wands is what where you see yourself. This to me is protecting here when it comes to your own happiness to your own image to your own ego as well um, you feel like i know what i want here i know where i deserve i know i need to be happy um, nobody is going to take this away from me i'm going to defend myself here i'm going to defend my image and my status and my victory and my success and i'm going to fight for it that's the attitude you have because you feel like now is time to act what is the sun with the seven of wands one more. The King of Cups. Wow, you do have also though. If the King of Cups is your person, because I'm getting here a lot of cups, you also believe that they are the ones here that you want to be with. But there is some barriers. There is some barriers like when it comes to this happiness. And it has to do with ego. It has to do with uh, pride. Or when it comes here to what is important, you are optimistic, but at the same time, you feel like you have to prove something there, Sagittarius, especially also to someone else. It's like, I feel like you have to prove to someone else as well when it comes to your true self. What is that Ten of Wands, please? What is that Ten of Wands? 
One more. Okay, you're done waiting there in the at crossroads. This is there's no more indecision. If you have been going with someone else between two choices, as I mentioned, because the Ace of Swords is what this whole situation is starting. Is this clear? Am I going? Is this finally here? So this Ten of Wands is the finality here of a crossroads or indecision. Finally, you know, I've been going through this for a long time. This is it. Let's get another card. One more. <laughs> the Ace of Swords. Okay. You're done waiting on that. You're done feeling burdened. Uh, you are your person. You are going to be making a decision. Are you going to start something here? But it's because, again, when I say start, it's not just start something out of the blue. Something you have been hanging on and been waiting for some type of clarity or something here to, to cut through this indecision, to give you um, the opportunity here or the idea or the communication or the starting point when it comes to your happiness, whatever it is here that you're building. All right, so what is the Six of Wands here? Let's see the Six of Wands. One more. Oops, sorry. We have the Four of Cups. This is the victory, the success of an offer. Something that has been waited, contemplated. You know what? I'm, when I look at these two together, what the feeling I'm getting is that do I settle or do I go for what I deserve here? That's what's going to be. That's why I'm looking uh, because here this is, as I mentioned, above everything else. Nothing compares here. I, it's like to me, you're a leader. And then the Four of Cups is like, meh, do you want this? I don't feel like you are going to settle. What is the Six of Wands and the Four of Cups? One more. Yep. You deserve so much more. That's what I'm getting here. I'm not settling. I'm not staying like this. I, I want it all. I deserve this. Forever you worked hard. What it was in the past, you know, that you felt like this is truly my happiness. This is truly what I want. This is, uh, you know, what I want to go towards. No settling. I deserve greatness. What is the page of cups, please? What is the page of cups, please? One more. Okay. You might not be seeing this. This might be a person or a situation externally to you, but this is the change, Jupiter energy, by the way. The change here of someone's feelings or someone that finally is ready to express. Also, external to you, someone is waiting for the right opportunity to open up. Is waiting for some type of messages of love here. So be aware of that. It's a very beautiful combination. A faded or a distant um, energy, but it's someone that is waiting to open up. Why you have the Three of Pentacles, please? One more. Three of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. You really are trying here to work things out so things can balance money-wise with a person. At the end, that's that's what you're hoping for. You're looking at it practically. You want some type of give and take or, you know, to balance a situation. Um, it can be between you and another person, as I mentioned, a friend or a partner or the person that you are, you know, feeling like this is what I deserve. This is what is going to make me truly happy. So you are hoping for, for this practical um, type of exchange or working with someone where you both have something to give towards each other. You are good at this, I'm good at this, or you know, this is how we can share, we can open up. So what is the emperor, please, as a possible outcome? One more. The Queen of Wands. Okay, interesting. We have a boss lady here, but more than anything, we have someone that feels very much um, attracted to this person. Let's see. For some of you, I feel like this is um, 
someone that made it feels like I made it. I, I'm in my, you know, I'm in control of a situation. I'm not attached, powerless. Very strong personality. What is the, the Emperor and the Queen of Wands, please? One more. Okay, we're getting movement. We have the Nine of Wands and Chariot. This, to me, the Nine of Wands and Chariot is this type of energy. I'm going into this with a lot of um, heart, bravery, because the Nine of Wands is a wounded warrior. I'm not stopping. I know what I want. Uh, going the distance here. Again, remember, we have two now characters. We have um, the King of Swords that is challenging this decision. Like, I have to open up. I have to go towards it. In the end, what's going to happen? In the end is going to happen that there's, first of all, I'm getting here that the Queen of Wands is coming. If it is clarifying the Emperor as someone that knows very well here what they want. It's very powerful, very much in control. Uh, that is... To me, because this is a moon in Sagittarius, there is a guarded energy here, like someone that is staying very strong when it comes to what they want to achieve. I'm unstoppable. I'm getting here really I'm unstoppable energy. Um, that's the best possible outcome. Whoever has to face this Queen of Wands, which is your energy as well, it seems that uh, it's like, what, what do you have to bring here? I'm already powerful. I'm already here in control. What you got to give? There is someone that is approaching with very much cautious, guarded, but very, mu very much, I'm not going to stop. I'm going forward here. So you guys are going to have this energy this week of there's nothing here that I cannot accomplish. There's nothing here that I cannot do. But remember, you and this person, whatever the attachment that codependencies or fear that you guys have had, that's not happening here as the outcome. The outcome says like, I'm in my own power. I know what I want. I'm in my own strength. I'm getting I'm unstoppable. That's what I'm getting here um, as the best possible outcome. No more at crossroads, no more uh, waiting burden here. I, I really hope this resonates with you guys. As usual, in the extended, we will see what's going on with your love life. Thank you. Bye-bye.